I did some work with ROS, the robot operating system, a few years ago. I was playing around with some hexapods, six-legged robots, building up the control stack for leg control, body control, walking, and then navigation. I also ended up building some very unusual robots, well, using the ROS framework on the Raspberry Pi anyway. I was able to build a slot machine bass clock with rotary drums and a more traditional smart clock. Then I moved on to some IoT projects and my robots have been unloved for a while. Things have moved on in ROS and ROS1 has now been largely replaced by ROS2. But interestingly, ROS has also extended out of the computer and into the microcontroller. So we now have micro ROS and the Pico is supported. So this isn't really about making our Pico the brains of the robot and running the full ROS2 stack. It's allowing our Pico to become one part of a distributed system running our robot. It's about using Pico as a component of the robot in a distributed manner. I might then have a Pico control each leg of my robot, controlling the motors and reading the sensors. So the main brain just has to say where the end of the leg should be in space and the Pico will do the rest. I plan to release a set of video blogs on my journey with Micro ROS on the Pico and ROS2 as the brains on a Raspberry Pi. Please remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for a special announcement at the end too. In this video, I'm going to start by configuring ROS2 and the out of the box demo for Micro ROS on the Pico. You might notice that I'm not using the most up-to-date version of ROS2, which is Iron Erwini. That's because the latest micro ROS version is for Humble Hawkins Bill, which is on long-term support. ROS2 is supported on a number of platforms. The easiest approach is to install from binary. This does limit you significantly on platform and sadly, no support for my Mac. I have looked at installing from source on my Mac, but you have to turn off some of the Mac security mechanisms I've therefore shunned away from that right now. So I'm going to go with the strategy of running ROS2 on a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to need to use 64-bit OS and the long-term support release 2204. But that's okay, as I tend to use long-term support versions anyway. There's a very detailed install guide over on the ROS2 website. It's mainly though installing through APT. I don't have a desktop, so just using the base command line tools and development tools today. Micro ROS is going to bring together our Raspberry Pi and Pico into a distributed system. The main ROS2 ecosystem will run on the Pi. This will include the tools to query what is going on. The main activities though is undertaken in ROS by nodes. A node is a container of logic that communicates with other nodes through messages, services, and actions. We'll use a special tool on Raspberry Pi called Micro ROS Agent to bridge the nodes from our Pico into the Raspberry Pi space. On the Pico, we'll use the Micro ROS firmware framework to give our application the ROS primitives. Our Raspberry Pi and Pico could connect via USB for building this bridge, though we could also use UART out of the Pico. There are also examples of using UDP to other microcontrollers, but I would expect this to be possible for the Pico W, or just a TCP IP socket. Today, I'm just going to use USB as it's the default demo. Of course, we could use multiple Picos connected to the Raspberry Pi, though each one is going to need its own ROS agent. Why have multiple Picos connected? Well, this would allow me to have each doing a specific task. Perhaps each one is controlling a leg on our robot. The micro ROS agent was not installed as part of ROS2. You can run it as a Docker image or install it from Snap. I actually chose to build a local copy from source. The micro ROS setup project on GitHub has all the instructions on doing this. It sets up a ROS2 workspace copies in the project, checks the dependencies are installed, and builds the environment. ROS2 makes use of lots of environment variables to tell it where bits of the project are, so we end up doing source statements after building each step. Within the project, we have just built 
are the scripts to build the agent project itself. This does take a while to build on a Raspberry Pi 4. Once again, we source the build environment configuration. We then have the micro ROS agent package and agent ready to run. We'll leave that for a bit and come back to it once we have some code built for our Pico. There's an example project and firmware library for the Pico on GitHub. We can build this in the normal way for any Pico SDK project. Then flash that onto the Pico using boot cell or SWD. We can now run up Micro ROS Agent as our bridge to our Pico. You should see this providing some telemetry if it's working and connecting to the Pico. The firmware example isn't as resilient as it could be, so you may have to reset the Pico to get it to connect. I've actually done some work to make this more resilient and I will share that in a later video. With the Pico connected to the agent, we can now query the nodes within ROS2. I can see that we have a Pico node running. I can also query the topics and see we have a Pico publisher topic. If we echo out the content of that topic, each time a message is published to it, we can see the Pico counting. So we can connect our Pico to the ROS2 ecosystem and have it successfully communicate. Of course, we want to do something a little bit more interesting than just count. There are a few more fundamentals we need to get over to make that happen. Making the communication a bit more resilient, customizing the message types, and including free RTOS in the build. Then we can get to control some motors and have a robot move. Let me know if you've played with ROS2 and what you've built. Be great to see some other Pico projects. Before I go, just a reminder that there's a voucher available for my getting started with C on the Pico course over on Udemy. For a short time only, I'll put a link on the voucher in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video as it helps others find it. Please subscribe and hit that notification button for more videos from me. Goodbye for now.